I got a lead on a house. We gotta determine whether we have to tear it down. So I'm gonna take you there, and then you can tell me what we're gonna do. Sounds like my kind of fun. decent, but then when you walk in the front door, you're immediately onto a set of stairs, which is kind of claustrophobic, so that you're walking in, you don't really have an entrance. I hate the stairs. I feel like they should be the other way, because when you walk up the stairs, you immediately walk into a wall. I feel like you should walk up and walk into the kitchen. Instead, yeah. you walk up and you walk into the wall. Walking up with your groceries, you yeah. walk into the wall. Right into the Makes wall. Makes sense. The floors aren't real hardwood. These are some kind of engineered flooring. There's multiple different layers of floors here. Ooh, the club. <laughs> you want to join the club? <laughs> the kitchen, like, has no windows. It's in the middle of a house. I mean, this kitchen, it has exactly six cabinets. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Is it supposed to be like a cutting board or something? It looks like a spice chart. Did the Spice Girls own the sauce? I think so. <laughs> Ooh, it's tempered. Oh, look at that. Just in case it got broken by accident. Accidents happen. What is that? A box of knives? You think I can get in the wall? Hold on, I need one too, because I need to try this. Do you think this will work? You want me to go first? You go first. Show me how it's done. It's all about the wrist movement yeah. as you flick. You know, it's like whoosh. <laughs> that was just practice. <laughs> ready? <laughs> yep, ready. <laughs> It's smart to be out of the way. I'm ready. Go ahead. What the heck? My knife did that. I killed it. I'm going back to the club. So they put an addition on with this glass atrium half enclosure that's leaking. We would have to basically take all this glass off, get rid of the brick, and rebuild the section of the room. By the time we do all that and move the kitchen and move the bathroom and fix this room, in order to make the numbers work, we would have to keep the siding, we'd have to keep the roof, we'd have to keep the heating system, we'd have to keep this fireplace that's going on back here. It doesn't I, give me that warm, fuzzy <laughs> feeling. No, I'm saying in general, just like right. not being able to like, you know, Really do everything. Really do everything so that the house is done correctly for some, for right. family, people, whoever, whoever would end up buying it. But right. Hopefully people, aliens could buy it. It would they be could. super cool. I would yeah. love to sell a house to an alien. I bet they would pay cash. I want to drive a UFO is what I really want to drive. <laughs> drive a UFO. Yeah, why wouldn't you? If an alien came down, or aliens, yep. which they're definitely out there. For sure. And hopefully there's one named Paul, which they would be awesome. They think we're aliens. That's what I'm saying. But Imagine no, this, the this like badass alien named Paul comes down and finds me and he's like, Paul, I am Paul. Come back to visit my beautiful planet with me. And I'm like, yes. Yes. Let's go. Can I fly the ship? Sorry, I'm daydreaming <laughs> about aliens. You really have to strip it down to bare bones for right. the most part. Rework walls, rework electrical. That meatball rolling down the hill gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, that's what this house is. It's a meatball. So it's a teardown. It's a teardown. All right, you look beautiful today, honey. This rain is not messing with your hair. It's Thank you. in perfect shape. Your makeup looks good. Thank you. All you gotta do is ding that triangle. What time is it? It's demo time, Paul. We're gonna tear the roof off this place. The house is finally down. Now we're gonna get the foundation poured. We'll get the frame going, get the roof on, get the windows in, get this thing weather tight so we can start working inside and then get her to the finish line. Now this is the fun part. Now we get to get all the finished details, the tile, the cabinets, the trim, the paint. That's really where it all comes together. One of the fun things in this house is the mud room. We were able to get a fun pattern on the back panels. I found this arabesque tile and Paul was able to replicate it and get it into the mud room. We have a ton of storage in there. And as you come into the kitchen, you see that we went with a bold cabinet choice, we went with navy cabinets, and we kept it very light on the uppers. We did light countertops, we did a light backsplash, 
And then we also added some wood details. So we did some stained wood shelving, we did some stained wood on the hood, and with all of that together, it opens right up to the family room. With those two rooms kind of flowing into each other, we wanted them to feel like one big space. So we took the stain that we used in the kitchen on the hood and on the shelving, and we brought it into the family room on the beams, and then on the built-ins that we have on the fireplace wall, we did some bookcases, we did these cute little window seats, and then those match the bench in the mudroom. So all of that kind of ties together. And those spaces are open to the dining area, and then we have this cute little walk-in pantry that has a lot more storage, navy cabinets, another full prep sink. That's a super functional space if you need extra storage. I love having that on the main floor so that it's very accessible but also out of the way. I am a very big fan of the color blue. It's like a very calming, deep ocean blue. And I feel like that's a vibe you get when you walk into that house. It's got a lot of different things to look at. You're looking at beams, all the built-ins, you're looking at the pantry. There's just so many details as you walk through that house and see everything. So it's fun because when you turn your head, you see maybe a new detail that you didn't notice the first time. I think it's a fun house. I think that they really love the house and uh, we love the house too. But on to the next.